Hey everyone, welcome back to the series of video on the REST SEO tutorials. Now, in my last video, I talked about the post request type. We have already seen how you can um, send a post and a get request. Now, believe me, 80% um, of the time you will be working with these two request types, but then there are other request types as well, right? So let's have a look at one of these. So I'm going to talk about the delete request type this time. Now delete request type is pretty easy to understand. So as the name suggests, it deletes a resource on the URI, right? On the specified URI. So uh, whatever is there on the server and you specify a URI which you want to delete from the server, you will send a delete request, okay? And that uh, particular resource would be deleted from the server, okay? So I'm going to use uh, the same uh, REST API, which is hosted on my local to demonstrate this particular example, right? So this is our posts, as you can see, localhost, and this is our REST API, right? So I want to delete this last post, which has been posted on this uh, server, right? So which is which has got a ID three and uh, which has got title this, okay? Now, how but how we can reach this particular API. So if I say post slash three, which is nothing but this is the URI for this particular resource, right? And I want to remove it from the server. So how I can do that, that's what we are going to look at, okay? So coding wise, it's pretty much the same how you uh, write the post request, except you don't need to obviously mention the payload here because we are not posting any request, we are going to remove that particular resource, right? So we don't need that particular JSON payload to send with the request, okay? So let's create uh, our test which can demonstrate uh, this particular uh, request type. So let me create a method here which can delete a post right so again uh, as i said um, the format would be pretty much the same so we will say given and then we'll say um, we can say content type but i think it's not particularly necessary but you can mention still that what is a content type it is a json right and then um, we don't need the body so in this we will uh, specify the request type, which is delete, okay? And here uh, we would require the URI. Uh, it will be a little different. It should point uh, to the URI where we want to perform this operation. So I'm going to specify it as three. And then um, we can mention the rest of the validations if you want to put any validation here. So I'm going to put a uh, status code is kind of 200, right? And then um, I also want to see the body. What What is the body which is being returned? So, so this is a very simple uh, test which you can perform or using your delete API request, right? So you can delete the request and then you can just verify whether uh, the status code is successful and the body is empty. Right. So since you are removing it from the server, there would be no response in the body which is being returned by the server. OK, it will return an empty body. OK, so let's go ahead and run this particular test now. Okay, so as I said, uh, so our um, then statement has been executed. So if the status code was not 200, it would have written an error, right? So as there is no error, you can be sure that the status code was success, right? And also our body is empty. So that means our um, resource was deleted successfully. But if you want to verify it um, from the URL also, you can do it, right? So go here and maybe I'll go to the post and you will see there are just two posts here, right? The third one was deleted. So 
that's how you can perform a delete request um, using the REST assured, right, um, on your API, on your REST API. So it's very simple, but uh, sometimes it's useful when you want to remove something from the server from your REST API, right? So that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback, please leave it in the comment section and keep watching uh, for more videos on our channel. And we'll be posting regularly um, some new, some something new um, on, on different automation tools. So keep watching and see you in the next video.